is Jim Young. I'm the Senior Vice President of Finance at Howard County General Hospital, and uh, IT is a department that reports up to me. The uh, importance of the Howard uh, tech community to me basically is to help with the identification of uh, implementation of technology within the community and sharing that with others uh, to perhaps uh, expand the adoption of that technology. Uh, I think uh, Howard County has been very um, uh, out front uh, with a lot of their technology and you know as we look at uh, uh, creating um, a uh, fiber connected Maryland and that being led by Howard County it's really uh, important uh, and a great distinction for the county. Howard County General Hospital has been uh, adopting um, technology for a long time. Uh, it was back in 1997 when we first began documenting electronically and the nurses began uh, their uh, inpatient evaluations as well as documenting the care that they were providing. The three implementations, the first is probably the electronic medication administration record and bedside medication verification. This is essentially functionality that allows us to scan medications at the bedside in the patient's room to make sure that we're addressing the four rights, and that is that the right patient receives the right medication in the right dose at the right time. Very critical for patient safety. The uh, second uh, most important innovation that we've implemented at the hospital is probably MobiLab. MobiLab is functionality that allows us to scan a patient's barcoded uh, wristband in the hospital uh, and with a wireless scanner and a wireless printer the nurses or the techs will actually print out labels at the bedside uh, next to the patient and that has significantly reduced the number of errors that we had in terms of mislabeled uh, specimens. Uh, in fact it's reduced the error rate to almost zero percent. Perhaps the third most important uh, is uh, what we call affectionately POM, Provider Order Management. Uh, and that is essentially the functionality within the system that allows the providers, for the most part the physicians, to uh, enter their orders electronically into the Meditech uh, system, which is the system that we have at the hospital. So those are probably the three most important uh, innovations and the hardware that's allowed us to really bring those to our patient's bedside. there's uh, uh, been one other innovation that's allowed us to do this and that is really the addition of what we refer to as cows at Howard County General Hospital. Our cows are computers on wheels uh, and it's basically a, uh, kind of a laptop sized uh, computer that the nurses, clinicians, physicians uh, may pull or push uh, around the hospital to document the care being provided to the patient. Uh, and as you can imagine, there are a number of phrases of terms of endearment uh, related to our cows. Uh, for instance, uh, they're battery packed and if they need to be recharged, we refer to them as grazing. Uh, we refer to them in the aggregate as our herd and uh, you know, if a cow breaks down and needs to be repaired by IT, uh, we also refer to that as uh, the cow being put out to pasture. We really need to take uh, the uh, electronic medical record that we have today to a completely different level. We need to add scanning and archiving um, so that we have a, uh, basically a paperless environment within the hospital. Uh, and one of the uh, uh, things that we will be doing, uh, in fact we're doing today uh, and we'll implement it by June of 2013, we're bringing on a completely new uh, clinical system at Howard County General Hospital. It's, uh, it's our new frontier and the system is referred to as EPIC. Uh, it is probably the most uh, prominent and uh, premier clinical system available to hospitals today. Uh, you know, we can really purchase a lot of information technology, whether it's hardware or software, uh, but it really takes people in order to be able to develop the uh, intuitive interfaces uh, and the functionality for people to actually use. And then it takes champions within the hospital and adopters to actually bring that technology forward uh, to enhance our patient care, uh, whether it's patient safety or the quality of care that we're delivering to uh, patients in our community.